Hey everybody, welcome to the channel and in today's lesson we're going to go over how to tune up your guitar for the very first time. It doesn't matter how far to tune your guitar currently is, by the end of this lesson you'll be able to tune it up to the correct pitch. Grab your guitar and let's get started. To start off make sure you have some kind of guitar tuner. It could be an app on your phone or it can be a clip-on tuner like I have here. Now we're going to have a look at the names of the guitar strings. This is important as we actually need to know what it's supposed to show on our tuner. The string closest to you, or the thickest string, is an A string. The string directly below that is an A. The string directly below that is a D. The string directly below that is a G. The string directly below that is a B. And then the string furthest away from you is another E. Notice how we have two E strings. The E string closest to you, or the thickest one, is often called the low E string. And the string furthest away from you, or the thinnest E string, is often called the high E string. A rhyme you can use to remember the string names is this. Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. Eddie, so that's an E string. Eight, so that's an A string. Dynamite, so that's a D string. Good, so that's a G string. Bye, so that's a B string. Eddie, so that's another E string. Now our guitar is completely out of tune. Time to tune it up. So now we're going to pick our low E string. And as you can see, it's not showing an E here. It's currently showing a B. So to tune up or down, in music, there's only ever 12 notes. In this case, B is far away from E. So we're going to have to turn our peg to go up. So B, as I'm starting to turn it, there's C, C sharp, D, and then D sharp, and then starting to go slower, we're up at E. In that case, we had to tune up to your E note. Your guitar might be the opposite. It might be showing an F. In that case, we're going to turn the peg the other way and turn down to your E note. Now we're going to do the S string. Notice our S string is also showing a B. Now in this case, we're not going to tune up, we're going to tune down. The reason why we're going to tune down to A because B is closer to A than going through the rest of the musical alphabet that I have on the screen currently. Also, the string is very, very tight. If we were to tune through B, C, D, E, F, G, and then back around to A, more than likely your car string would snap. So what we're gonna do is tune that string down. So there's A sharp. And tune it down to A. Now your A string's in tune. Next, we're going to pick the D string. So in this case, it's showing an A sharp. The string hasn't got much tension on it, so we know we have to tune up to the D, not down. So there's B. C. C sharp. And then D. Now we're going to pick the G string. In this case it is showing a G, but notice how it's not in the middle. We want to get it in the middle where the green light's showing. In this case, we're just going to tune it down just slightly. Going very, very slow. Now our G's in tune. Our next string is the B string. Notice how this is showing G. We're going to tune up to the B 
because again our B string is very very flimsy here we need to add tension to it we add tension by tuning the string up so there's G G sharp A A sharp and now we're up to B now we're back at our other E string notice how this is showing D sharp so that is very close to E so we're just going to tune up Just double check all your strings again because they could fall out of tune. You might need to repeat that process of tuning your guitar up just for the strings to stay at that pitch. A common problem I see quite frequently is when your tuner is actually showing the correct note. So in this case I'm picking the B string. It is showing a B, but however... Still doesn't sound in tune even though the rest of the strings are. If you also notice, this B string here is very, very flimsy compared to the rest. There's not much tension on the string at all. This is because our B is at the wrong octave. What I mean by this is, we're on the wrong B. We're going to have to tune through C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, and then back to B again for it to be correct. So we're going to do that now. So there's C, C sharp, D, there's D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, and then B. There we go. And now we're in tune again. If you are unsure if your string's in the right octave or not, you could ask a friend who maybe plays guitar to check, compare it to other strings. So for example, if that string seems like there's very little tension on it compared to the rest and it does not sound right even if it's showing the correct pitch on your tuner then more than likely it's not in the right octave if you like this lesson please consider liking and subscribing as you will be doing more lessons for beginners in the future if you have any questions please leave a comment and i'll get back to you thank you so much for checking out the video have fun playing guitar